Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is faithful. He never lies. So he does whatever he says. So I'm here today. It's been a long journey. I had an opportunity to to spend time with him it was a very rare privilege to spend time with him and he told me a lot of things and he said he has been waiting for me he said he's been waiting for me so he's happy to receive me you said that I'm the one you have been looking for and then you change my name oh. you wipe away my tears oh. and you overwhelm me this love is too much what can i say i love beyond here because I want to make money. I'm not here because I want fame. I've had all of that and I think that I've had enough of all of that. So right now is the time to work for my father. He's the one who has called me. I did not bring myself here. As a matter of fact, I did not want to be here. And Mr. Isaiah has stood with me throughout this journey. He did not get tired because it could have been very tiring. Because he's, he's dealing with somebody who... It's not like I don't understand. I have... A little understanding of the kingdom. I've been in the choir since I was six. So I've always been in church. But it's a new dimension right now. It's, it's a new system. And I'm going into it with full force. <laughs> so most of the times you might not understand my ways. Because you don't know where I'm coming from. And that is because a lot of time has been wasted. So I need to catch up with him. So as I move, please move with me. Because, because if you don't, it's your loss. 
So I'm moving with time. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. The, the enemy has been winning for too long. The enemy has been winning for too long. There's no time. I had a lot of things yesterday. I've had, I've had my share of influence and all of that. So now I'm using all of that. Everything that the enemy thought he had given to me. That was given to me by God. Whilst he was there lying to me that he gave them to me. I'm using all of that to work for my father. So when you see me doing some very extreme things, just understand where I'm coming from. No time. No time. We have too many people out there that we have to bring back into the house. <laughs> Jesus is coming soon. Sooner than you expect. So we cannot allow them to miss out on that. We can't. So now is the time to do the work. I call myself an end time soldier. And I'm not saying that because I need a name. I'm saying that because that's the truth. It is for real. So I'm not, I'm not here to joke. I'm not playing with, like, I'm not playing with the enemy because we have a lot to take back. We have a lot to take back. So imagine what if I'd died on the journey. I probably I'll, I'll, I'll be going straight to hell. And I told God I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. So we're taking this serious. It's a serious business. It's serious business. It's not going to be business as usual. I need us to understand that it's we are taking a different turn. You see, young people of today, they are not patient. You are speaking to them in 15, 20 minutes, you are losing them. Their attention span is not, it's so short. So we are not here to talk plenty English. We are not, we are not speaking a lot. So we're showing, we're showing them this is what God can do. This is God. I mean, only God could have done this. Only God could have done this. So I've gone away from, from sin. I've gone away from sickness. I've gone away from, from lies. And I've moved, I've moved so much in a very short time. I've moved so much that I can't even look back, let alone going back. It's not possible. So there's no going back. <laughs> this is it. This is it. So why not just lift up your voice and thank God for me? Is this worthy of thanks? There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah, over to I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty words. Mountain mover, my lover, on your my name and mine. Sorry, I need to say something. Daddy, sorry, sorry, please. Permit me, sir. So, I met, I met daddy at um, one of our retreats. Yes, it was my first time at the retreat for Easy Concepts. I was invited and I saw him. And it felt like he was speaking to my soul. I felt like this man is for me. <laughs> I told, I told Mr. Isaac, I said, this man is speaking to my spirit. I'm connecting with this man on another level. And he said to me, okay, we can go to his church on Sunday. And we came here. And then he was here ministering. And then I said to Mr. Isaac, this is my church. <laughs>
And then mommy came and made the altar call. I didn't know what moved me. I didn't know what moved me out. Even when I give ties, I don't come out. I just send it. I don't, I make, I try to make myself very invisible in church. But I didn't know what pushed me out that day. And I rededicated my life to God. And that was where I started from. So daddy, I thank God for your life. You've, you've, you've done a lot that you do not even know. And we'll probably be speaking about that in subsequent times. But God has really used you to say some things to my spirit, to my life that has gone a very, very long way. And there's, I don't have anything to give you. I mean, I just want to bless God for you because you're also part of my story. Thank you very much. Bless you. Bless you. So church, we can't let her do this on her own. We've got to pray her through it. You know that there are going to be many people who are waiting for her to fail. You know, in many cases, they will see now. They go soon tired. You won't get tired. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So what we want to do this last day is to dedicate her to the Lord. And I want us all to stretch our hands inside, outside, wherever you are. 